These allegations are stunning, that he physically and emotionally abused both of his ex-wives. Both of these women apparently told the FBI about this, and he still got the job. That's what sticks out to me. Does it surprise you? Yes, uh, greatly. There was not a day that went by that I did not have a stack of red folders on my desk marked top secret that went to the president. That means for the entire time uh, Rob Porter's been at the White House, he has been handling the, the, the country's greatest secrets uh, with this secret of his own. And John Kelly clearly had to know about this. There is no way I'm telling you that, that the staff secretary to the president served for 14 months without a security clearance that the FBI didn't notify the chief of staff, which means Kelly, Kelly didn't care and even now is defending this conduct, which is so sickening uh, and so well documented, is so clearly proven by photographic evidence, by contemporary police reports. I mean, Rob Porter has a right to defend himself, but the American people have a right to expect that the staff secretary of the president isn't going to be blackmailed and can handle national security information, and John Kelly should know better. How coveted a job is this? Because what surprises me, if you've got somebody with background like this, if the FBI is aware, if the White House is aware, is there not someone else in the Republican Party with the same qualifications, but not the girlfriend, wife beating background? Look, that's right. I mean, the question is, is why would you put this person in that position? Wouldn't you at least sideline them until you, you fully investigated it and found out what the facts are? To proceed so cavalierly is so, is so reckless. Uh, and frankly, John Kelly is the person who has to answer for this. It's one thing when an employee is trying to cover up some un uncomfortable or even disgusting facts in their background like this. But John Kelly is supposed to know better. And when the FBI comes to you and says, we can't give the guy a security clearance because of this, uh, you have a responsibility to act. There is a burn bag under the desk of the staff secretary because the material that person handles is among the most sensitive material our country has. This is outrageous. And how close would he, have, would he be to President Trump, given how much you worked with President Clinton? There is not a day that goes by in the West Wing that the staff secretary does not personally interact with the president, period. All right, I want to share a quote from the Washington Post. Porter said on Tuesday that he would resign after the allegations were first published. People close to him say, but he was talked out of it by Kelly and others. According to these people, with Kelly saying he believed Porter's denials and saw him as a valuable ally in the White House, Kelly continued to press him to stay in his job Wednesday, saying he could weather the storm, but Porter decided the controversy had become too much. Sean, I've actually spoken to people in the White House who've said, I'm completely shocked. While he was a valuable uh, rising star in the White House, that goes out the window. When you learn these uh, allegations, he simply can't stay. Look, I dealt with Rob Porter on a number of occasions. Incredibly impressive background, was always professional and helpful to me. But look, John Kelly is the chief of staff. When the FBI tells you he's got this kind of problem, not only does he need to go, you need to care about this. These victims came forward in January of 2017, right at the start of the administration, and they did so because they thought it was important that the FBI know this about someone in this high-level position, and nothing was done. It sends a terrible message, it's malpractice, and it means somebody without a national security clearance for, for, for more than a year now has been handling that material and could have been blackmailed at any time. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.